Welcome to the Argonauts. My name is Tyler and I live with my partner Ben on a 28 foot sailboat called Our Choice. We're both 23 years old, we're living on a budget and are definitely beginners when it comes to the liveaboard lifestyle. Subscribe to follow our journey as we travel slowly around the world. Hello, in this video we make our way to Eastbourne on the 2nd of August and from there to Brighton where we ended up staying for a couple of weeks because of some bad weather and so that Ben could do his ICC assessment too. So we got the water pump service just to replace the impeller, which I could have done myself, but also just to clean up some of the bearings that were looking a bit rusty. And uh, he put the water pump on the wrong way around, so we've just done a quick trip out to harbour and now we're having to re attach the water pump. Hopefully it will work again properly in a second. I feel like it will. Yeah. It should be fine. Now in my younger days I used to sport a shy When I went to school I carried lunch in a bag With an apple for my teacher cause I knew I'd get a hint So it's got mad when the class was dismissed But when it was in session I always had a question I would raise my hand to make a stagger to my desk And help me with my problem it was never much Just a trick to smell a scent and try to sneak a touch Oh how I wish I could hold her hand and give her a hug but she was married to the man he was a fuck His name was Lee, he drove a Z He picked her up from school promptly at the old club I don't know if you guys will be able to see it on here But that might be France in the distance It was really cool to see the white cliffs of Dover from the sea, but we did find the white cliffs near Eastbourne much more impressive, and you'll see why later on in the video. Where are we going? Um, we're going to Eastbourne from Ramsgate. How long did you say it would take? Like 10 um, hours? Yeah, about 10 hours. It's a, a roughly 60 nautical miles. So our the, longest trip so far by quite a long way. Do you know how long the last 
longest one was? Like 45, so it's about another... And like six and a half hours. Yeah. Rather than 10. Yeah, I mean, 10's a rough estimate. We'll probably get there a bit quicker than that. Yeah. Though not if we just keep sailing. Now that we've got the wind. Now it's windy, which is much better. It would be nice if it could be windy and sunny. I'll take windy. She keeps on pass. I even need to voice my opinion, but the time she didn't have. Strung me like a chicken, just my tail like a dog. She was kind of like a star, thinking I was like a fan. Dude, she looked good downside. She had a man, he wasn't rude, too. And in Soon your little birdie's gonna fly the coop She was a fake black Call and I was born with To understand my lemon pies I feel to be a better woman What you doing? Just sitting here Just sitting here Yeah, I'm not even sure what for to be honest Bats <laughs> maybe The trip ended up taking ten and a half hours and we had to go through our second lock to get into the marina. It was a lot easier than the first one we came across which was in Shotley because there were floating pontoons with cleats on them in this one. <laughs> We only spent one night in Eastbourne and then left for Brighton the next day, so on the 3rd of August. We set off early evening just as Ben finished work and the 20 nautical mile journey took us four hours. Wow. Much better view of this big bay now. She goes again, the dope is deep, the opium, and now the world around me begins moving in slow motion. Whatever she happens to walk by, what is the apple in my eye? Overlooking, disregard my feelings.
Please, no matter how much I try, well, no, I did not really consume my little princess with persistence. And I was so lucky that she was unaware of my existence. From a distance, I desired her, secretly admired her, I wired her a letter. It went, my dear, my dear, my dear, you do not know me, but I know you very well. Now let me tell you about the feelings I have for you. So these are the white cliffs we saw just after leaving Eastbourne and hopefully you can tell from the footage why we preferred them to the famous white cliffs of Dover. They seemed so much taller and whiter. Um, I don't know why the cliffs in Dover are so much more well known. Maybe they're more accessible from land or maybe it's just because of the busy channel in Dover that they're so popular. I wasn't such a whim Cause then I would let you know that I love you So when I promise you a woman then I would be true The only lie and I would do is In the bed with you and I sign to say The one who loves you daily P.S. Love me tender The letter came back three days later Return to sender She keeps on passing me by Well tomorrow we'll walk down to the pier I had never been to Brighton before and really enjoyed the time we spent there. Um, it seemed like such a lively city with so much going on, so much to do. Supposedly the marina in Brighton is one of the largest in Europe. My sister Sophie came to stay with us for a few days while we were there, which was lovely because I hadn't seen her for ages and won't again until December. One evening when we were walking back to the marina, we came across some guys on the beach who I think they said they were supposed to be DJs at Boomtown, but because it was cancelled, they organized a little get together on the beach in Brighton instead um, and yeah we decided to hang around there for a while and we met some really lovely people around him. She keeps on
it's been a long time since I've walked up a hilltop of this. <laughs> Hi, so Tyler wanted me to say a little bit about the ICC that I did. The, we ended up just doing, well I ended up just doing an assessment rather than the course and assessment because uh, it was a bit quicker and a lot cheaper. Um, uh, back in Brighton. And uh, it was, uh, I mean, it, it took a couple of, a few days of, of hard studying to get all of the uh, kind of information about buoys and lights and sound signals and stuff uh, properly in my head and everything but that the theory part of the test went really well uh, in the morning and then in the afternoon it was quite heavy weather for the practical segment of the test so we ended up doing most of it in the marina all the man overboard maneuvers and and uh, obviously all of the the mooring stuff um, and we weren't actually out sailing for very long. We did the basic uh, <laughs> triangle and came back. It was it was quite quite rough. Uh, some of the roughest weather we'd been out in, but I, I thought it was good fun. And I think um, it was the roughest we'd been out in. Yeah, I think that. Sure. Uh, well, actually, uh, maybe even since. Um, I think so. Other than the one big wave, but because I mean, it's quite a. It's it it was probably only about. 20 to 30 well 20 to 25 kind of knots of wind but on the Brighton coast it shells quite a lot and so that it means it's quite quite rough quite quickly in uh, rougher weather so it was really quite wavy and uh, I think the instructor didn't want to be out there for for longer than was necessary so that was that was already re relatively quick but the the whole thing was there uh, was was fine really um, yeah I think the whole the whole assessment only took what, three hours. Yeah. It was from nine until about twelve, and after lunch, I think he he had everything that he needed. So uh, yeah, it was a pretty a pretty short day. Uh, but yeah, I mean we I passed, and uh, there was no real problems, so it was good. Thank you so much for watching, please like the video if you enjoyed it, leave us a comment to let us know what you think, and if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so that you won't miss a video, and hopefully so that more people will see the video too. Um, yeah, thanks again for watching, the next episode will be us heading to Cowes on the Isle of Wight and then to Portland ready to cross over to the Channel Islands. <laughs>